Hi, this instructional video is about circles. Here we have three identical circles with the same radius. Each radius is four units. The thing is, if you were to put these three circles, so we have two tangent points for each circle, there will be an enclosed area, in this case a shaded region. How do you find the area of the shaded region? It's the all-time classic. Teachers love using these on the students. See if you can figure it out. <laughs> no, it's not an anomaly. When you have three identical circles and put them together, you end up with an equilateral triangle where the vertices of the equilateral triangle matches up the center of the three circles. So let's take a look at that. When we do, here, in fact, let me draw it. Okay, so we have an equilateral triangle. So here's what I need you to look at. Check this out. First of all, the area of a triangle that's formed is one half base times height. But where do we get the measurements? Well, it's given that the radius is four. So from here to the circumference edge, that's four units. Well, that means the entire distance from the center to the other center is eight units. So it's an equilateral triangle with the three sides that are eight units for each side. To find the, the base, well, base is going to be, well, check it out, here we go. If I take half of that equilateral, here's an eight, here's a four. And since it's an equilateral, you could either go by the 30, 60, 90 ratio, which, meet, which says that if this is an x, then the hypotenuse is 2x, and the longer leg is square root of 3x. So if this is 4, and hypotenuse is 2 times 4, which is 8, which is correct, then this will be simply 4 times that, so it's 4 square root of 3. So we know the height already. Otherwise, you would have done the Pythagorean theorem. So you could have gone A is 4, B is unknown, C is the hypotenuse at 8. So that's going to be 16 plus B squared equals 64. Solve for B by using subtraction property of equality. So that's going to become 8, 5, 48. Now you're going to solve for B by square rooting both sides of the equation. Well. 48 is 16 times 3. And I want 16 because it's a perfect square, because square root of 16 is 4. What remains as a, inside a radical is 3. And that's the B. But we found that by using the 30, 60, 90 ratio. There it is. So the area of a triangle is A is equal to 1 half times base is 8. And the height is that B, which is 4 square root of 3. 2 reduces the 8 4 times, and 4 times the coefficient 4 is 16. So that's the area of the whole triangle that is formed by the three vertices and the center of the three circles. Now, what we need to find is the sectors of each of those circles and multiply by 3 and take it away from the whole triangle equilateral and that will give us the little wedge area here. So how do you find that? Well, here's a circle. And since it's an equilateral, we know that this is 60 degrees. And 60 degrees, since in the entire degrees for rotation of the circle is 360, divided by 60, or 60 goes into 360, one that's a one-sixth of the entire thing. So we could find the area. Area is equal to pi r squared. And from that area of the circle, we're going to only take one-sixth of it because that's all we need. We need to find the area of that little sector of that whole circle. So divide that by six. So therefore, the radius was defined as four. So that's four squared, which is 16 
pi over 6. And I'm going to reduce this and keep it in a quotient form. So that's going to be 8 pi over 3. But how many do we have? We have a total of 3 of those identical sectors. So we're going to multiply that by 3. And that's going to give me 8 pi. So what is this? This is the total 3 sectors of these three triangles, uh, circles that is. Okay, now we're going to take that away from the equilateral triangle. So here's what we're getting. Here's the equilateral triangle made up of the three circles, I mean the centers, and we're going to take away those sections. Take it away, so all we have, so the area of a triangle was 16 square root of 3 minus 8 pi. Hopefully you have a calculator, right? <laughs> so in this case, we're going to say 16 square root of 3, close parentheses, whoops, ah, 16 square root of 3, close parentheses, and we're going to take away 8 pi. Let's see if the calculator recognizes that. It says 2.58 approximately. 2.58. Let's get an idea what that is like. 16 square root of 3, because I'm not very satisfied. 16 square root of 3 is approximately 27. That's the triangle. The triangle is 27.71, something like that. Take away the three sectors. 8 pi, and 8 pi is 20, oh, okay, so the three sectors, 1, 2, 3, is 25.13, I see, so you subtract, you get 2.58, sounds good to me, good luck.